Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to operate on the firmware operations of the Seagate for CD hard drives. First, we can power on the hard drive and wait until the drive gets ready. So to operate on the Seagate hard drives, the very first thing for us to do is to enable the COM port. Now the drive gets ready. We enter the F3T and we can find the model number of the Seagate drive is SP4000DM000. So this is a family name. So this is one very common hard drive met in the data recovery net. However, let's try to enter the F3T prompt. You know, for all CK drives, we must enter the F3T prompt or T prompt to execute commands to repair the damaged firmware fin. Now, let's try to check some commands, and we will find the commands don't work here. For example, the very common command to clear the smart of these kind of hard drives. So usually for these kind of drives, we can clear the smart directly. Now let's check more commands. Control L. We can use Control L to check the head information, especially its head type. But we can see nothing happened. So that means some commands can be executed and some commands not. So how to get this drive work in normal situation? So we need to unlock it. So this is one is one partially locked hard drive. Within the DFL Seagate firmware repair tool, under the common functions, common repair, there is one function called unlock dark mode. So these are the two family names. Now we can check the lock window operation success. Now let's check Ctrl L again. Ctrl Z, Ctrl L. So at this time we can find the hard drive feedback. So it reports with the hard drive ID information and the head type information. So we just need to use one click within the DFL Seagate from a repair tool and we can unlock the COM port completely. So we can run any commands now. We can use any commands to check the hard drive health information or try to type any other commands to repair the damaged firmware. So for the Seagate 4000 DM000 hard drives, the first thing is to unlock the COM terminal just by this simple click. And then we can back up the SYS files and then go back to the COM terminal to input commands to repair the damaged firmware finish. After that, we can power off, power on, and then go to ATM mode to scan the hard drive, and then we can see the hard drive is accessed perfectly. So this is the method to repair the Seagate 4000 DM000 hard drives with partial knock. Thank you for watching this video.